Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about Tomb Raider. Apparently, the old Tomb Raider games are so racist and sexist that they had to put a content warning on the reissue, the remasters. Seriously? We're going to talk about that, and then we're going to talk about uh, Laura Croft getting a redesign. And uh, yeah, her boobs aren't as big. I'm just going to tell you, that's, that's, that's the thing. And she kind of looks like a dude because it's current year. Of course it is. Of course it is. So let's uh, talk about all of this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. Uh, check us out on Spotify. You can listen to the audio versions. We try to keep these uh, news bites under 10 minutes. We know you're all busy. I'm busy. We're all busy. Everybody's busy. And uh, we have people that are busy trying to retrofix video games and pop culture and uh, everything that's uh, older than five years old is now offensive. Yeah, so they put a, uh, a trigger warning on Tomb Raider. <laughs> so they reissued uh, one through three, and I saw it uh, come up on Switch and on, on Steam. They reissued uh, one through three. They said that they weren't going to change them. Apparently, there were some changes, though. I think they... Um, took some uh, logos off of jackets or something. I don't know. But they said in order to keep the games intact, they had to put a trigger warning on Tomb Raider. So Tomb Raider game carries uh, a trigger warning over racist stereotypes, just like Disney, right? The Tomb Raider remastered series stays close to the original game, but includes a warning in case they have a harmful impact according to the standard. A uh, new game featuring old classic has warned users of the potentially harmful impact of racial stereotyping in the game. Tomb Raider Remastered has acknowledged there are parts of the game that are unacceptable, unacceptable in this day and age, but has kept them uh, in order to stop the game from straying too far from the original. Uh, the game has been made in the films, starring Angelina and Joe Lee. They were eh. The game has a whole host of new and improved features. It has Lara Croft uh, infiltrating uh, tombs for lost artifacts and stuff. We know that that in and of itself is what is problematic for a lot of people. Indiana Jones, this comes up in conversation. They actually addressed it in the last, the Disney and Indiana Jones movie. Uh, they addressed this, that you're, you're basically stealing, stealing from indigenous peoples. Uh, Indiana Jones, how dare you? Same with Laura Croft. They said the refreshed versions of the original trilogy of Tomb Raider were released on February 14th, but the games aren't dramatic remakes. They still look like older games, but have a higher polygon count and higher resolution textures. I was actually thinking of getting it, but I don't know if I'm going to now which the hardware at the time couldn't do. There's a new control method. Okay, that's not the problem. That's not the problem. They said what has remained is the stereotypical racist depiction of a group of South American natives who dance, wield blowguns, and are implied to be cannibals. However, rather than scrub the game clean of any implied racism or prejudice, developer Crystal Dynamics has opted to include a trigger warning for play... I, I added trigger to that. It, that's, what, that's what it is. A trigger warning for players upon booting up the game that they may see that they they may see things that they do not agree with. Don't don't at me, bro. Don't at me. This game was made like 30 years ago. <laughs> Developer Crystal Dynamics said wanted to keep the racist stereotypes in their original form rather than remove them. They're making out like this is like intentionally malicious. Like we wanted to keep the racism in our game, so here you go, guys. Here you go. Here's the racism, you bigots. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to turn around and take her boobs away. So <laughs> you know, we're going we're gonna to get the last laugh. Um, they said that they hope it'll help people acknowledge its harmful impact and we can learn from it. So here's the original. This is a uh, very dark on Twitter posted. It. The games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudice. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. Rather than remove this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. Nobody's going to play this game and be like, I really feel convicted that I'm shooting these natives in the head. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's going to care. They're going to look at this and be like, blah, whatever. Um, skip it. And I heard it only comes up the first time you boot the game, too. But uh, this has opened up a discussion as to whether or not, you know, these games should be messed with. Um, this is a poll on timeextension.com. Should retro game remasters carry warnings about offensive content? I think everybody understands, you know, these games were made in a different time. But they're also like, why do we have to apologize for stuff that was made 20, 30, 40, 50 
80 years ago. You know, should companies include these warnings for other games? For example, the depiction of Dalsim in the Street Fighter series could be deemed offensive to people from India. What? Should Street Fighter games carry the same message when you start them up? Do you think that this content should be censored instead to send a stronger message? No, maybe you're of the opinion that not nothing should be said at all and that games are a product of their time, like any art form. Yeah, I'm of that opinion. I think that, uh, warning, this game is old. Warning, her boobs are big. Her boobs are big. Oh, don't worry. They're fixing that. Yeah, the new Lara Croft will presumably debut in the next mainline game. And she looks like a dude and she's flat chested. So there you go, guys. They got the last laugh. Here, you can have your big boobed, uh, culturally insensitive Lara Croft, but we're going to fix her. We're going to fix her. The next game that comes out is going to be so progressive. And it probably will be too. They'll probably be like, Lara, put that whatever MacGuffin down. You're stealing from the indigenous peoples. Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be something in there. I think somebody said in the movies that they were kind of calling her out for that too. I don't know. I haven't seen the new movies, so whatever. You're not allowed to raid tombs anymore. You're not allowed to colonize islands or anything anymore. Where's, where's all the fun? Where's all the fun? Where'd all the fun go? To Pal World. That's where it all went. It all went to Pal World where you can colonize and you can put them in camps and you can eat them if you want to. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> whatever so there it is uh play it don't play it i don't really i was gonna buy it it doesn't really bother me they didn't really change a lot but it's just kind of like come on guys do we really have to, to put this up do you really have to put that on is it really that big of a deal yeah apparently it's that big of a deal i'm gonna wrap it up please subscribe we'll talk later